Hello buddies, in iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth issues in iOS 18.01. Well, here's how to fix these issues. For that, first you can toggle to airplane mode. For that, you actually need to go to settings. As you can see, at the top there is airplane mode. Quickly, you can just slide it to the green option, enable it and your phone will be on the enable mode, airplane mode and you can then disable it and start using your phone. This is the first fix. Moving to the second one that is forget and reconnect to Wi-Fi. Well, turn on the Wi-Fi and check for the Wi-Fi uh, options available. Click on that. On the I option, just click on that and you can forget this and then reconnect to this Wi-Fi and enter the password again. This is how you can forget and reconnect to Wi-Fi. Next is reset network settings. Well, for that, again, we need to go to the settings main interface. Yes, click on settings. Then slide down and go to general and then go to transfer or reset iPhone. Click on reset and you can see on the number two there is option reset network settings. Simply click on that. It is not going to erase any of your data from your phone. Don't worry. It is just going to reset some of the network settings. Next is check for software updates. Go to settings, click on general, click on software update and refresh the page and make sure there is no update available. Otherwise, if there is no update available, it means you are using the updated version of IS 18.0.1. Moving ahead, toggle Bluetooth off and on. Well, go to settings, click on Bluetooth. Then First, if it is on, just turn it off and then turn it back on. Maybe it will help you to resolve your problem and start using it. Next is check for interference. Well, ensure there are no physical barriers or electronic devices causing interference. Move closer to the router for Wi-Fi or away from the other Bluetooth devices. You, this is how you can check it. Moving ahead, restart your router. Well, power cycle your Wi-Fi router by unplugging it for about 10 seconds and then plug it back in. Next is reset all settings. Again, go to settings, click on general, go to the bottom of the page, click on transfer or reset iPhone, click on reset and click on reset all settings. This is not going to remove your data but will reset your iPhone settings so that you can resolve your problem. In the end, you can just contact or just turn off restart your iPhone by simply pressing a press and hold on to power button and the volume up button and slide right to power off and then power it back on. This uh, fix will actually help so many of the problems and resolve the things. Thank you. Bye-bye.